Hi guys, it's Brittany and John Hello. from Slightly Above Average Reviews. Today we are doing our first snack crate review. Now we have been getting snack crate for quite a while. It's super, super fun, especially for kids and family uh, members. Uh, there's plenty of food for quite a few people. Exactly. Um, but today we're going to show you what we get. Yes. We actually subscribe to the premium box, which means that we get a... Uh, a beverage you can do like the basic box it does not come with a beverage and it comes with slightly fewer snacks but if you're gonna taste treats from around the world why wouldn't you go all out yeah and they send you a little magazine a little booklet that's got all the other treats in it that you miss out on so you have to read it's like a tease. about all these other treats that you could have had and you're like oh my god that sounded so good so it's a definite tease so you got to get the premium box if you want to experience a good range of snacks from it's worth the money it's um i i believe 59 dollars a month it's really not that bad um and you get one whole giant box of treats from a country anywhere around the world let's find out which one this one is well they give you a little hint on the uh address label here it says good day oh good day it does so say I'm, good day. I'm guessing it's probably Australian? Hmm. Well, who knows? See You've some... been wrong before. Yeah, I've been wrong. Oh, it's Australia. Hello, <laughs> Australia. Snack crate slash Australia. Go there. We'll put the link in the description down below. All you gotta do is click it. It also comes with these super cute stickers every single time, and our five-year-old daughter huge fan of these. She puts them everywhere. She puts them everywhere. And luckily, they're like good quality stickers, so when she sticks them on things like the TV, um, which she does often, you can, just peel, you can right peel them off. off. Yeah, which is really nice. Uh, they're vinyl, so. That's a nice touch. Cute. Thanks, Look at them. Crate. They're so cute. A little boomerang. Kid friendly. Kid friendly, the snack crate. It oh. comes really cool in this nice little box. Welcome to this one's snacking adventure. Get social with us. Share your snack experience. Hashtag snack crate. So we'll do that. Hashtag snack crate. Make sure that you guys go check them out. Snackcrate.com. Um, they have an array of different subscription options as well as you can go in and pick certain countries and purchase just that box. Um, and then once you actually sign up for a subscription, when you taste all these tasty treats, if you find one that you like in particular, which I have before, um, you can actually go online and then use your uh, subscription to yeah. purchase individual items, like more, like those tasty little black and white cookie bars that I bought like 25 of. Yeah, she bought a whole bunch. Those so, are my favorite. I still have a whole bag full of them in my pantry. Let's get cracking on this thing before this video this takes This cute break. little Australian paper. Yeah. What do we got? Snacks. So it comes packed very, very nice and neat. I swear, no matter how we try, no, when we open these, we can never repack them in the same yeah, it's impossible. Yeah, spot. So uh, typically the way that we do it, uh, that we find is the best for tasting, is uh, one sweet, one savory, uh, vice versa, depending on like which ones. Some boxes have more sweets, some boxes have more savory. Just depends on the country. You're gonna try the drink? We will. So on the first page, it'll show you like some fun facts about Australia. Um, this is always fun, especially for our older kid to read. Um, just like the fun things. Australian wombats are one of the only animals in the world whose poop is in the shape of a cube. Cube shape poop. I did not know that. Cube poop. Did, did you know that? I didn't know that until you learn now. You something new every day. Cube poop. So it's really cool that they have yeah. stuff like this. One um, thing I did know about Australia is that it's not actually upside down. Yeah, true. Did you apparently? Did you know that there's a ban on saying "mate" at the um, uh, at the Parliament House? Oh, in their government. Yeah, That's makes sense. Probably like saying "dude" as a senator saying "hey, dude." Kangaroos and emus can't walk backwards. Just gotta turn around. Can't reverse it. And Australian Alps receive more snow than Switzerland. Oh. And apparently Australia has the world's longest golf course. It's also 18 hole par 72 course that spans 850 miles across two states. That's, that's freaking an impressive, huge. impressive golf course. I wonder if it has cube shaped wombat poop on it. 
and then kangaroos that can't walk backwards. Yeah. Okay, so then each item comes through, there's a little description, so it's super cool to read right before you eat it, before you taste it. Some countries have really weird tasting stuff um, that says it tastes like one flavor, but it doesn't, so it's always nice to read and then taste and then see what you um, find. So, let's start with the drink. That way we have something tasty to, to flush things down with. It's called V. Or is that a U? I'm not sure. It's a V. It's a V? It says V Energy Blue. It's Guarana Energy Drink. V Blue is said to have been made in an ultra-secret facility. Set your taste buds to mysterious when you drink it. So mysterious. It smells like pineapple juice. As long as it doesn't smell like a V. Tastes like pineapple juice. Yeah. Oh. Like pog juice, pineapple, orange, guava. Switch on with a guarana. Guarana and caffeine charged V energy taste explosion. Woohoo! It is a taste explosion. That's so it's tasty. A, so it's an energy drink. Yeah. It's like a like a Red Bull. Kind of, but tastier. It is pretty good. Pretty kind of pineapple. -y. I right like there. it. Right there is good. Here we go, B. Okay. So that is sweet. So let's go with something savory. John, grab one out of the box. Twisties cheese. Twisties, an Aussie snack icon for over 50 years. A corn-based curl dusted in tasty cheese. Oh. So it's a Cheeto. Yeah? Yes. Oh, but, but it's like a... It smells like macaroni and cheese powder. Oh, yeah, it does. Oh, it's a Cheeto with macaroni and cheese powder on it. Yum. That's pretty good. They're like Cheetos, but they're like yellow. So if you've ever had like macaroni and cheese, that powder that you mix It's up, really tasty. Imagine that on a Cheeto. That's pretty good. Not I need bad. those again. Twisties. Life's pretty straight without twisty. I set it here so they can see. Here we go, twisties. Okay. Next, let's do something sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I thought that said poos. Nope, it does not say poos. Doesn't it? Looks like it said poos. So we'll try some Allen's strawberries and cream. Thanks. A soft, chewy jelly that brings together sweet, ripe strawberries with a thick, velvety cream. Oh. Just what I like. Thick, it, velvety cream. It looks uh, kind of nippular. Looks kind of like a nipple. A little Ooh. bit. Maybe. No. Those are weird nipples. Some people have weird nipples. A little bit of fun since 1891. It's chewy. It is very chewy. Not gonna lie, I don't have a velvety cream. No. I'm not getting any. It's more like bubble gum. Chew. Yeah. We'll need a minute. That's a lot to chew. There's a flavor. It Mm, kind of expecting it to be like a gusher, but not so much. It was really solid. Hmm. Pretty good, though. Dece. I would eat it again. Okay. Let's try. It's like a treat roulette. Oh. Some Samboy Atomic Tomato. However, atomic a tomato can be. There are a lot of countries that have tomato flavored treats. Crinkle cut potato chips. Mega tomato hit! Australians' favorite potato chips from the 1950s with a tomato flavor that hits hard. The perfect zingy, zingy, crinkle cut crisp. A lot of them are like tongue twisters. So if you're the person they who always smell. gets to talk about them, like me, I get tongue tied sometimes. They smell like french fries with ketchup on them. That's what it tastes like. Hmm. 
Very tomatoey. Yeah, it's like seasoned fries. Not like regular french fries with just salt. But like french fries that have the seasoning salt on it. With That's ketchup. Like with ketchup. That's like fries with ketchup. That's pretty That's good. pretty tasty. Ketchup A chips. lot of countries have ketchup flavored stuff. I don't... I don't know why ketchup chips America doesn't really taken do that, off in America. We have a lot of... We love ketchup too. I don't know. Yeah, I don't get it. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. What do we got? A wagon wheel, original chocolate coated marshmallow and jam. Oh, sweet marshmallow filling sandwiched between two soft biscuits, then dipped in rich chocolate. Oh, just like a giant cookie. Oh, and it looks like one of those, like, um, the waffle things that you set on top of your coffee and you melt them. Oh. But with jam instead of caramel. Oh, it's like got marshmallows in it or something. There you go. Oh. Oh. That's tasty. I so like far, that wagon wheel. So far, Australia winning on the snacks. What is your favorite country so far? Um, I don't remember. New Zealand had really good foods. Yeah, New Zealand was pretty bomb. Wagon wheels. That was good. I would definitely eat a lot more of those. The energy drink. It's Australian yep. for energy. So that you can have the energy to eat all these snacks in the snack crate? Yeah. There's all these snacks. Right. Let's try. Oh. Just a big bag of french fries. Australian original crunchy potato french fries. Australia's original crunchy potato straw snack. Crispy, salty, and seriously addicting. Oh, like shoestring potatoes. But potato, shoestring potato chips. Yeah. I They're so eat. tiny. I could eat a huge bag of those. They're kind of like, um, I'm gonna get some more. like we I just had Thanksgiving and you put the little French fried crispy things on your um, green, bean casserole. green bean casserole. This would be an interesting addition to green bean casserole. French fries. Yum. French fries from Australia. They're not even upside down. Okay. What next? Probably oh. something sweet. There's a lot of sweet stuff in here. Yes. How about a little Golden Rough? That's not a very no. good name. It's a terrible name. Golden Rough. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me read about oh. it. Made by Nestle. Golden Rough. Oh, there should be two in this one. A oh. Golden Rough and a Mint Patty. Oh, let's find it. Right there. Here we go. Oh. Enjoy the sweet combination of toasted coconut and decadent chocolate in the golden, rough, and cool white mint smothered in rich, dark chocolate in the mint patty. So it's a York peppermint patty. So I guess coconuts are pretty rough. It looks rough. It kind of looks like, I don't know. Let's try it. It's like a hard York peppermint patty. Like chewy, but not quite as minty. It's good. It makes you feel like you just brushed your teeth. That one's not bad. Tastes pretty coconutty. Not very rough though. Thought it would be more rough. I'm not, not sure how descriptive or correct, or accurate that name is. It's like toasted coconut too. Oh. Not overly minty. That's good. I like this. Oh. This is way more rough than the rough. This tastes like toothpaste. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Told you it tastes just like it tastes just like you brushed your teeth. Oh man, the after of that is bad. I mean not that brushing your teeth is bad, but But you don't want tasty treats? No, that's it.